I grew up in a really strict Muslim environment. I struggle to even go outside the house without my family's permission. From the day she came in and saw me, she looked me in the eyes and said, I want to be a fighter. I could see that in her. No, it's hard, it's strong, strong. Just think strong. I didn't understand the culture. Is it okay for men and women to train? What happens if she gets hurt? I was trying to live up to everyone's expectation. Just trying to be everything to everyone. She has deep-rooted beliefs and values, and she will not compromise those. She wouldn't miss training sessions. She would always show up. She would just keep coming, keep coming. God judges people based on their heart and their actions. They couldn't understand why I wasn't more traditional. If I had a black eye, I'd hide it and run up to my room. As I started to understand the obstacles she had to overcome, I realized that she had that inner strength. Where your mind is, your body will follow. You're female, you can't do this, I can. Right. You're Muslim, you can't do this, I can. If I didn't have my religion and my belief in God, I would really struggle in life because that's where I get my strength from. She had the, that grit determination, that underlying driving force to overcome things. I remember when I walked in, the first words I would say is Allah Akbar, like God is great. God's in my corner. God's gonna help me. Don't stop! Don't stop! Cannot stop! I've trained many, many world champions in my career. And this, to me, is one of the most amazing events I've ever seen. I'm proud to be Muslim. I'm proud to be British. I was trying to be one or the other. Whereas now, I realize I can be both of those things. My family have accepted me. A person shouldn't be judged necessarily by what they achieve in life, but the obstacles they overcome to achieve that.